Okay, hello. So, I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream that one day a C or C++ programmer could use an FTP. I think, uh, well, the day is coming. Uh, just to, to start with a story, a real story this time. <coughs> one day I had a, a meeting uh, with a customer three weeks after and they told me, oh, you are doing FPGA? Uh, okay, here's a simple program. It's a SHA-3 program, like Bitcoin. Okay, and they told me, uh, okay, just show me what you can do with that. Okay, three weeks to port a C program into uh, FPGA. He knew, he knew exactly the, the problem. And, uh, well, I had three weeks to do that. And we did it. We have been able to do it with within 11 days. And the result was really gr great. We have been able to do uh, uh, by 35 factor better than CPU. Okay, move to here. Okay, so how did we do that? Uh, <coughs> a miracle? <coughs> sort of. So we used what we call SNAP, and SNAP is based on CAPI. So I will not duplicate all the slides from my room. Okay, I will go do it if you, you know them. Uh, just to explain you what, what is CAPI uh, for the hardware guys, but also for the software guys. There's nothing magic behind that. So. CAPI is, stands for Coherent Accelerator Processor Interface. So first of all, it's a processor interface, meaning that you have some specific logic in the CPU and you have specific logic on the FPGA, which name is PSL, okay. Physical Service Layer. So be between both, you have PCI Express Link, that's for CAPI 1.0. CAPI 2.0, you will have the PCI Express Gen 4 and you will have the same thing, well, the PSL and PCI Express, and the same will, will, be, will be something else for the open CAPI. But what we call the AFU, which is the uh, program used by the, uh, the author application, uh, it will be the same. So that's a processor interface. That's good. That's also an accelerator, because you may know that FPGA is capable of doing uh, for some some uh, some algorithm, they are capable to do much better than CPU. And it's also have uh, the coherent data feature, which means very simply that from an external card, so from the FPGA, you are able to have access to the uh, server memory with the same address. Okay, if you have uh, in your application running on CPU address 1000, you use the same address in the FPGA 1000. Nothing to change, okay? Okay, so quicker, simpler, safer. Safer is important because uh, we have the logic in the CPU which, uh, and the PSL, which helps you to discuss with the CPU, but also prevent doing anything bad. Uh, meaning that the FPJ has some uh, has access to the server memory, but is not allowed to do any uh, everything. Totally. Okay. So, just very quickly to understand what is the difference between the I would say classic uh, picture, when you have a, uh, an application running on a system, you have different CPUs, and your application is putting all the variables in, in data somewhere in the memory. If you want to go to, to have that on the, uh, an external card, you will just use a memory, uh, a device driver, sorry, uh, which will take you some CPU, which will take you some memory also. Uh, very often, we'll duplicate the variables on the data, and then you will, the device driver will copy all these to the external uh, FPGA or, or GPU card, okay, and then back. As soon as you have the, the data, you have, uh, well, sorry, you have just, well, you can have three copies of the data. So no coherency, uh, thousands of instructions due to the device driver, memory allocated for that, and CPU, okay? 
but that's not really offloading. Okay. Uh, what we try to do is doing, sim uh, doing uh, much simpler. So with the CAPI, you still have to push all the variables and the data somewhere in memory. Okay. That's, you need to have them somewhere. And then you're just saying to the FPJ, hey, we don't throw you anything. The data are there. Go and fetch them if you want to. Okay. So he will be able to get the data he needs and not everything. Okay, so he will be able to access the memories, uh, uh, memory uh, area without any device driver, without a taking resource. The application is just telling the FPJ where are the data, that's all. She's not processing things. So double, uh, well, not much using the CPU for that. Okay, so behind that, you will understand that when you want to, to do things uh, in a typical uh, non-CAPI uh, uh, environment, you will have to call the device driver to copy the data, uh, inform the, the accelerator, and then go back uh, interrupting, uh, uh, you, uh, pulling or getting the interruptions from the, from the FPGA and so on. So this takes time, okay? We measure things uh, on the FPGA, on the CAPI model, there's nothing to do but just saying that the data are here. Okay, I'm not speaking about the time done by the acceleration, I'm just taking, uh, uh, speaking about the time uh, taken to prepare the data. So that's a really different paradigm, saying that the FPGA now is seen exactly as a new processor. You have the same rights. It's not uh, a slave, it's a master like uh, any other processor. And that's uh, cool to understand. It's much cooler, uh, much uh, even better to when you're coding things. Power 9, I will go very quickly on that. Difference between Power 8 and Power 9, we are going from a Gen 3 to a Gen 4. So multiplying by 2 the, the bandwidth. Uh, the, the, well, the bandwidth. And uh, from P8 and P9 to P9, we are even uh, going faster with the, with the new uh, NVLink. Open cap. Okay. Um, latency also, as a um, Myron just told you, you have not numbers now, hopefully. So uh, latency is going uh, be, to be reduced a lot. Uh, we have also very cool things like uh, the hardware thread wake up, meaning that the FPGA is able to send an interrupt, uh, hardware interrupt. To the processor, meaning we are not depending on the OS, but we are able to have a real uh, uh, interrupt waking up the, the thread. This is good for the, for the uh, hyper concentrating thing, guys. Okay, so just to show you what's inside between Power 8, I would say Capi 1 or 2.0, and Open Capi, uh, AFU is the uh, application function unit. This is the program you are putting into your, uh, or, uh, this is the algorithm you're putting it into your FPGA. And the application here is the application running on the CPU, okay? So just to, to have a, a look to that, we are removing the PSL and the CIPP, the, the proxy, and the PCI Express, and we will move to a DL and TL uh, interface with the 20, 25 giga bit uh, physical interface. Okay, so from the AFU application, it's the, the quite, quite the same to, you, to use. Open CAPI, I will not go through this one. You may have heard about it. It's not just uh, for FPGA, it's for much wider applications. And uh, these are the, the guys who are behind the Open CAPI logo. You may have seen that. I'm going quick on this slide because we just saw them with my. Okay. Tell me if you have any questions. Again. Okay, SNAP. SNAP stands for Storage Networking 
and analytics pro processing. It's just a framework, but it's a framework which is open source. So, you have seen, uh, if you are a hardware guy, hardware designer guy, you were, I guess, here, uh, using PCI Express, using uh, drivers, uh, encoding the HDL of battery life. I did that during uh, 10 years. Uh, well, that's great. But you're to do, to do a, a design, it takes a month. That's right, that's right. It takes a month. Capi FPJ, when we, we bring uh, the, the Capi, we added uh, security with the PSL. Uh, we added a library to, to, to work with it. But we didn't uh, add good things for, uh, for C programmers. So this is the, the new feature, the SNAP uh, framework with very simple APIs uh, and I would say gathering all the best we, can, we could find uh, on, the, on the market. We have been able to uh, develop this uh, framework. This is an open source framework once more. So accessible from, from everywhere and I will give you the link just after that. So this brings a very good things, meaning that a C guy is able to uh, port or develop a new code within days or weeks, not months. And this is really different. Okay, how it works? Uh, very simply, you have normally an application working on a CPU accessing the server memory, server DRAM, and the storage or networking. So what we do is we take the function, what we call the action. You, you take a function and you want to offload it, offload or accelerate it, or offload and accelerate it, it can be both. And with uh, FPGA, that's interesting because FPGA provides you, well, the FPGA card provides you some new IOs. So you are able to access network storage, everything, without uh, taking server resources. That's interesting, and this is, uh, and the choice of the card will depend on that. The second thing is we are using CAPI, meaning that we don't need any more of the CPU. We are able to access it directly to the server memory. Okay, and in the middle of all that, we have developed all the glue so that uh, your action is able to discuss with the CPU or with the, with the, 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 with the server in general. And you don't need to know uh, how, uh, what is the protocol used behind that. We used also Vivado HLS. HLS stands for High Level Synthesis. It's a sort of compiler which takes C and gives you some whatever you, you want, meaning the HDL very large, but you don't need to have a look to that. It gives you something which is digest digestible by SNAP, and then you have nothing uh, else to know about that. <coughs> so this means that a C coder has no need to have uh, FPGA skills uh, to, to be able to, to use that. Okay, so what's in it? First of all, that's what CAPI provides you. PSL on the right, so that's on the FPGA side. The different uh, lib CXL, lib accelera accelerated libraries on the, uh, on the left. If you want to have SNAP, well, we just built all the logic so that uh, everything is, uh, is ready so that you can put your glue in, in, the, in the circle. The, the first name of SNAP was uh, Donut. So we did the, the whole, uh, whole uh, bunch of logic and you just had to put the jelly in the middle. <laughs> okay? So, what is interesting for you is you are able to put different actions. It can be C, it can be VHDL, very log if you want to, if you're, uh, to, to work with that. We have a partner who is developing a Go compiler. You should be able to, uh, to provide uh, a new feature developing in Go. And with that, you have ac access to various, I would say, a standard uh, 
uh, interface, which is Axie. Axie is the ARM uh, Axie, but you don't need to know about that. It's not just read an address or write an address with the data. It's not different than that. The great feature with that is that from the C point of view, from the C code, accessing the DRAM on the FPGA card or accessing the, uh, the, uh, the server memory is exactly the same. It just, well, access the memory on the server, access the NVMe, or access the DRAM. It's exactly the same thing. No need to understand the protocol behind that, uh, which is used. Okay, so all this is, uh, I would say, the glue which gives you something transparent. Different cards we are supporting. Uh, so depending on the application you need, you can uh, ask for two terabytes of uh, flash on the right. You can need, uh, you can ask for uh, uh, QSFPP plus, plus ports for Ethernet. Semtian one, also a Semtian card. Uh, different price, different features, different things. Uh, we have a new one, which is an alpha data today. Well, the which is uh, the Natec, uh, the, that's the, no, we have the 250S and the 250S plus who are having, uh, supporting today. The 385 is the, is the yeah, outer yeah, one. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> that's the, was the, the first card we yeah, used, yeah. that's right. Use that so, we used it uh, at the very beginning yeah. on Cathy. Yeah. And uh, you may have heard that uh, Altera okay. went away okay. uh, to, to Intel. Okay, so we used the design one. But you can use both. Uh, Snap has Snap been not... Well, the, the PSL is different. Okay, the oh, PSL is the Intel service layer depends yeah. on the card and, uh, and the FPGA you are using. Okay, so yes, we, well, the, the SNAP has not been supporting this uh, Altera chip. But if there's business behind oh, yeah. that, we will do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so just to show you how th things are simple. Uh, today, th this is a Hello World example. You can uh, have a look to this one on the GitHub. It's, uh, I would say, in an hour, you can go through uh, the entire flow and understand and build your image, build your FPGA and, and do the, the example. So just to show you how things do, uh, are done, uh, today when we are running an application, wh what do you do? Uh, for example, you read a, read a file, you put that text in memory, and then the CPU is going to, well, here it's uh, lowercase processing, okay? Uh, so do the processing, and then put the result back in the server memory, and then the server memory uh, back to the storage. Okay, so this is how typically an, typically an application works. What we did is we have been able to uh, implement Snap so that the difference is just a new argument in the, uh, in the common line. But per, per default, I would say, it was CPU mode. Now, per default, uh, it will be FPGA mode. So, the, the, the example you can have in the, in the GitHub uh, is this one. The software case is lower case, the hardware case hardware function is the uppercase, just to, 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 be sim uh, to be sure we are not uh, cheating. And the two things we are changing in the C code, we have, uh, and this is uh, uh, for all the code, we need two things, two change for two reasons. One is we have plenty of new, uh, we have plenty of new resources on the, on the card which are not known by the CPU. So we need to take care of them. And the second thing is we need to add this switch uh, from red to, to blue 
saying that, well, we want to run on the CPU or we want to run on the FPGA. Okay, so physically, when you do the, uh, the porting, here's what, how we do. It's behind that, it's just one instruction set. Make, make model, or make image, you will see that. So first of, thing, first of all, you take your application, it's a software application, and you run it as a software application, meaning that the application and the function or the action will all run on CPU, but with the uh, snap, uh, a snap code behind that. The second step which is, is done is, let's build a model so that uh, the action will work on the model as if it was on a FPG. Okay. This means that behind that, all the logic is different. We are using uh, real FPJ code, but we are also using a model. We have developed a model of P8 for Power 8. Uh, and you will have the same for the Power 9. We have a model which is able to answer as you have a Power 8 and the, P uh, and the all, all the logic behind that. Okay, so you are able to simulate that exactly the same way as if you had a, a software application, but it's running as if it was some hardware. And the first step is do that, but on a real hardware. Okay. So you may notice that today we are running these two first phase on an x86 server. This is only because uh, the tools we are using, the Xilinx tool we are using, Fibado, is running only on x86. We ask, we are pushing to have that run on power. CPU model cannot run on the power. I'm sorry. CPU model cannot be executed on the power. No, the CPU can be. Uh, oh, sorry, on, on the power, you can write everything is run on power. Oh, right. Yes. No, it's just uh, yes. these two first simulation, which are well, the development. The good thing to know is every bug, error, things you, you can see on the real FPGA, you will see them exactly at the same point in the simulation. Uh, and every time I had a, a bug in, uh, in the FPGA in my code, uh, I have been able to reproduce it exactly at the same moment, same time in the simulation. So that's, that's good to Okay, so behind that, you just do a make to compile things. Here you do make model, and there you do make image. Okay, so simple. Use case, uh, an interesting thing is, uh, okay, when you are considering an accelerator, uh, you say, okay, I take a function, I put it in an FPGA, and I say, oh, it doesn't go very faster, uh, does it go goes much faster? I think you need to understand the whole chain, okay? Where are the data, where they are processed, and where the results are going? So, very often, we are considering just the process time. But if you are able to enter the data directly on this uh, FPGA card, meaning that you will not take the resource, the, the network resource of the server, the network uh, calls resource IOs of the server, you may things, uh, think things are differently. Today, uh, if you consider this very simple example, uh, if you want to run, to, 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 to take one terabyte, to process one terabyte on the, on the CPU, well, the time to process it will not be the, the main factor. The time, the, the major time taken is Entering the data. So it will take nearly 20 seconds uh, to ingest one terabyte of data on the server, the classic server, I would say. Uh, if you put four cards, you will be able to, to do that 
in a much less. The, the second thing is if you are processing things here, then the results may be tiny. And you just throw very, very small amount of data to the server. Okay, so I'll think about that. That's interesting to see, to consider the whole chain. So that's the different things we did. Uh, when I took the example about uh, the 35x factor, it was a very specific example, meaning that I was not taking data from, a, uh, from a elsewhere. I was just processing data, processing a key on the FPGA. So that was a simple example. But so uh, FPGA is really good if you take data from uh, outside. So uh, that's good to consider or use storage on the card. You have some cards with two terabytes of data, for example. It can be good to, to, to have that on the CPU. And the processing can be done uh, with this data. So CapiSnap is, well, just a mixed, uh, or mix, gathering the best we, we have been able, able to find. So it's just putting together uh, some open source logic on GitHub. We used uh, the Vivado tool, HLS. So we took this one, but you can take any of the, uh, of the other one, uh, uh, since it's just taking C, C or C++ and generating the HDL. We did that the way that you can take any HLS you want. Uh, why we took this one is just because it's the simple for a C program. If you take the mentor one or the other provider one, you need to have real deep uh, hardware no, no skills to be able to understand even how to enter the, the tool. Okay, we use in the middle for a for a nine, for a ten, next, and. The, the, the interesting thing is we use any of the provider. Uh, there is no specific uh, interface like uh, Intel did. Well, they are just physically connecting the FPGA with the processor. We are uh, uh, allowing any, I would say, P PCI Express provider and then a little bit provider. Here's the where you can find the GitHub, the, the, the snap. Uh, plenty of uh, other things. Uh, if I have two minutes left, just to show you, this, these are the slides you will have uh, uh, posted on the, on the website. You will have all the details. So this is the, the example I used. Uh, this is something you can uh, catch from the, from the GitHub also. With the old author's authorization, we have been able to take the code. We just changed two, two lines because we have no access to the system calls. And for example, this is the, the SHA-3 uh, algorithm. To be able to get a, uh, uh, a 35x factor, I didn't even enter that. I didn't want to enter that and to understand what was behind that. I just change different things uh, to be able well, to duplicate the ports. Software guys are always putting the same variable in, as input and output. I just spread that so that the hardware is able to, to, to better manage that. That's the only thing I did. Just for an example, uh, for GPU guys, the, the, the same example has been done with GPU. Here is the loop I had and then ask me what it's doing. Uh, I'm sure it's a rotation of a matrix or something like that. By the name. Here's on the right what they had to recode to have a good encoder to be able to have the same result. That's just for fun. Okay. Okay, and I will, uh, I provided you all the different uh, things if you want to go into the example. Uh, that's the image of the FPGA. Uh, and that's re the results, the real results, the real complete results. So, sorry? This is 
don't or don't. This is those two, this is, uh, well, uh, it's, oh, there's a false. Sorry. It's not 16 calls, it's 20 calls. Someone still has to worry about timing analysis. No. Well, y yes and no. Uh, everything is done. To have, well, you, you could think if you have a timing analysis problem, you will be wrong. And you have then to, to say, oh, it's located at, uh, at this line in the, uh, in the code. So write it differently or think, oh, you do, you do that another way. But okay, you don't need to play some rude things. Everything is done automatically. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. I lost it. Have a PCI Express lane. Yeah. After that, you will have a 25 bit yeah. lane. But in this situation, we need to, uh, this device require to access the PSL each time to transfer the data. I see. Well, the, well, the beyond the PSL. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the PSL is only on the PSL. Uh, copy one, copy two is okay. Yeah. Because I independently access to the ICP. Oh. Today it's plugged on the master card. Okay. On, on the How about the several devices to on the uh, open copy connection? Not from. Right. Well, I know I uh, might maybe be able to answer. Uh, I, I know that uh, with open copy you will be able to discuss from your FPGA to your GPU uh, through the copy. Uh, I see the benefit of this room is going to happen. This is quite satisfying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I think I click one on the slide 16. Like succeed. Well, you had these actions. Now, the question was over the six. Yes. Yeah. So, how many actions can I run assuming they're concurrent? Um, and um, can I reuse the, the FPGA silicon using the partial reconfiguration? So, uh, to answer the first question, the number of uh, action we can put will depend on the size of the FPGA you are. Okay, so it's not bounded by the infrastructure? No, no. We have been able to, well, to, to, to size the framework to be able to handle any number. And an action means it's statically scheduled at 
synthesis time, it, it, it basically eats up some MPGS in real estate, but it's there. Yes. Okay. So, should I, uh, everything is, 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 uh, is coded for, uh, we, we didn't uh, enable the multiple action things, but if somebody wants it, it's not just, uh, just okay. Uh, today, we can put in an action different actions. So, I have an example, for example, which is doing a mem copy, then a search, and doing a, a, a mem copy. So, two different actions, two totally different, different actions. Uh, yeah, behind that, the actions is much more, uh, I didn't uh, interrupt too much details, but you see on the left that you ha can have different job queues, meaning that you can have every thread asking for uh, a request okay, for processing done by the APJ. <coughs> and the snap has been able at the, at the start of the system to know the number and the type of different actions which are in the class and then the threads will queue them to the, to the one you have. You and you okay. So yes, uh, all the queue management is done, and this is what we call the job manager here. Uh, you have different modes, but you are able to uh, queue on multiple uh, actions or on one single action if you want. You have different modes. Uh, it can be uh, action, start, stop, uh, mode for the for a, a video streaming, for example, you just start the action and you, you process the, the different queues. Can a couple of these print across one thread as a multiple accounts to the I'm sorry. Can a couple of these flip across multiple uh as a multiple accounts? Can the thing have a second account? No. Multiple functions Be, uh, in the open <coughs> there, if you have any questions. Uh, sorry for the next one. Yeah. Uh, eight, uh, eight minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.